stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover keytar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Thanks for your question, Phil. That's a really good one. The problem with payday loan stores is that they're not regulated in the same way that a bank is regulated, so they're an incredibly expensive way to get quick cash or to pay bills. Interest rates start as high as 30%, and they usually have very short loan periods, usually around two weeks. So a loan of a few hundred dollars with average fees and interest can be the equivalent of an annual percentage rate or APR of 400%. Think about it this way. If your neighbor takes out a loan for $300, she can be paying as much as $1,200 in interest. Another problem with payday loan stores is where they're located. You can often find them near military bases, or around courthouses or in low-income neighborhoods where they're targeting hard-working families. The bright side is that payday lenders are butting heads with consumer advocates from many states and federal agencies who are trying to impose more restrictions on the way that payday lenders are conducting business. This is really good news for you and your neighbor, but until then, my advice is to just steer clear. One last note is that many Goodwills offer financial strengthening services such as financial coaching or credit repair. So I recommend that you get in touch with your local Goodwill at this link and they can help you come up with ways to save more money. Hey, Ma. I got the job. Got the job. Welcome aboard. Got a job to see today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Donate to Goodwill. Help provide job training in your community. Hey, Mecca, thanks for your question. Being fired can really be stressful. So once you've taken the time to reflect on the situation, it's time to start your new job search. Once you start going on interviews, you're going to find that employers are probably going to ask you why you were let go from your job. So here are a few helpful tips to help you get through this process. First, think about why you're fired and come up with a response in advance. 
make sure that you don't blame your employer because you don't want to burn any bridges and you don't want to badmouth them in front of a prospective employer. Secondly, in the interview, be upfront and be brief about why you were terminated, giving a general explanation, what you learned from the situation, and how you're eager to move forward should be fine. And lastly, don't give up. The more you interview, the easier it's going to be to get through this type of discussion. If you think you might need more help, you can always visit your local Goodwill and talk to a career counselor who might be able to help you through a mock interview. You can also visit our social media website, Good Prospects, to give you more advice on getting through this situation. Good luck.